Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 5 of this Reasonable Squad Builder series. And as you guys see up on screen, for this episode we're going to be making a Belgium team. But if you guys are new to this series, this is where I make teams with 10,000 coins maximum. And uh, they're really effective teams that work well in the top-notch division. So these are going to be very important throughout Team of the Year, guys. If you want a second video out today, if we can hit 30 likes on this one before 8 o'clock, I'll get a second one out uh, in the night. So up on screen, guys, you can see... We We've got a Belgium team. We're going to be using the 4-1-2-1-2 second version. It's a formation I'm sort of, you know, taking my liking towards. And also the midfielders in this team are absolutely breathtaking. The way that they maneuver the ball and the ball control is uh, spectacular. And also some of the long shots is uh, is something to be reckoned with. But anyway, up on screen there, guys, you can see we've got Thomas from Marlin, one of the most notable centre-backks from Belgium. I could have Get, I couldn't really get um, Vertonghen as he was breaking the budget and this team already cost me around 9,600 coins so I couldn't really afford to put in another gold player but nonetheless our defense is so strong. Some of these silver players this year are really overlooked and uh, there's some really nice players. We've got D4 over there as our CDM. He's got medium medium work rates, didn't have to pay too much for him and he does sit back in the CDM spot very well. Moving on to our center mids we've got 9 Golan over there and uh, we've got him for 700 coins, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot, a really nice player and then on the other side we've got Axel Witzel uh, from the Russian League playing for Zenit St. Petersburg and we picked him up for 700 coins, 4 star skill, 3 star weak foot and this guy is absolutely incredible so definitely give these guys a go. Also Kevin De Bruyne, the standout player from the team and uh, he's got 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot, 750 coins, an absolute gem in the game. If you guys see his foothead stats you'll be amazed at the, the way this guy plays, he's just incredible and also he's got 5 star weak foot which is really really important this year in FIFA if you've got a versatile player in that up cam position that can switch over on both sides. Now we've got Christian Benteke. I think I paid 2,500. He does have a finisher, Kemstel, and I did buy this player two weeks ago as I did prepare this one a while back. But also, guys, added thing, if you'd like to see a reasonable squad builder for a nationality you'd like to see, leave it down below the nationality and also leave a player that you'd like to see from that nationality so I can make a, um, a reasonable squad builder around it. But getting into some of the gameplay, guys, I wanted to show you the defense on this team because they are very solid and also Courtois making a very nice save over there. And he was actually much more impressive than I've used other keepers in the game. Uh, there's one other keeper which I'll show you guys in a future reasonable squad builder that did stand out a mile above anything else. But up on screen over there, Christian Benteke locking in that heading ability. He does have some really nice headings so that's an added bonus and also his strength over there he's got around about 90 strength which means he will not get knocked off the ball very easily and into his shooting guys he's actually a really interesting player I'd definitely say guys give Christian Benteke a go if you haven't seen him in a BPL side uh, I've pretty much seen every BPL side I've played against have Benteke because he's one of those overpowered players this year but moving on to Kevin De Bruyne the man himself well, look at that to finish on that one it just seems spectacular getting it past the keeper and over the defender but Here's a bit of a play, guys. We have a skill run with him because he's just such an easy player to move the ball around with. You don't need five-star skillers when you have him in your team. Look at that verbal spin getting past so many players already. Uh, a few stepovers to get past there through the gap. And then we draw a foul. And that's going to lead to a free kick. And you guys are going to see over here... He's got some really decent free kick ability. Look at that. Just over the wall and the keeper getting a fingertip. Any other keeper, that would have been in the back of the net before you know it. So overall, guys, this team, the midfield is absolutely so strong. In terms of goal scoring, you'd find that your midfield would score a lot more unless you guys are striker-oriented, but I do more or less use the midfield a lot more than other players. So you will see that uh, midfield is something of my speciality. And you can see over here, look at this from De Bruyne, that dribbling over there, 82 dribbling, getting past everyone, and then finishing off with a roundabout, I think it's 78 finishing. So he's a really decent player over there. And look at that chip over the keeper. Uh, what a classy finish from him within the box over there. So also, guys, you'll see that your defenders are very decent, but more or less, it will fall down to some solid players. And look at that, De Bruyne really capitalizing with his weak foot over there. Five-star weak foot, not a problem. So you can see over here, guys, as well, we go with the bit of a run with De Bruyne. Uh, we go with a rainbow flick over the top of the player, go to a chip into D4, open goal, and the keeper is never going to save that. So, also guys, moving on to Lukaku. Lukaku was a decent player. He was not too bad. I just say that more or less Benteke had more of the shots than him. Uh, but the great thing about having Benteke and Lukaku, guys, is you have a switch between a left-footed player and a right-footed player. And then you've also got De Bruyne, who is both foot, can use both feet effectively. So, 
very nice mixture in this team. You can see over here, we're going to find a nice ball to nine goal. In, and we're going to wrap it up, guys, after this goal. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. By all means, please do drop it a like if you have enjoyed the episode. And subscribe here for more daily FIFA 14 content throughout Team of the Year. Beautiful finish from nine goal. In. But we're going to wrap it up here, guys. So hopefully you have enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you guys for the next episode.